Hi, and welcome back to your Math Resource Showcase. I'm Amber Soto, and this week we're gonna focus on low floor, high ceiling tasks. Now, I don't know if you've had the chance yet to read this book, Mathematical Mindsets by Joe Bowler, but it is an incredible book, and I highly recommend it if you haven't had the chance to read it already. Uh, one of the things that Joe Bowler has really pushed for is that idea of you wanna have problems that are easy to access, so low floor, and where it increases the critical thinking the further you go into the problem, so high ceiling. So anybody can access low floor, but it really pushes the envelope on the thinking involved, high ceiling. So I thought that since she's kind of been one of the ones that has really been at the forefront of that, we could go to her webpage. It is ucubed.org, that's Y-O-U-C-U-B-E-D.org. And you'll see on here, she has all kinds of stuff for you to play with, especially under the tasks and more tab. Um, I'm skipping this because that's what we're going to, but week of inspirational math, you cubed at home, math and art, um, poly machines. There's so many fun things for you to be able to use here. I'm gonna go to tasks and we're gonna look at some of the stuff here. Now, the cool thing about this page is not only does it have tasks, it also has games that the kids can play, games that are also low floor, high ceiling. So um, for example, shut the box, pig, tic-tac-toe sums, these are all games that kids can play together. So if that's something you kind of want to look into, um, have fun with that. But the activity that I've chosen to do today is called Painted Cube. So we're going to go to Painted Cube. And it has this picture here. Let me move my face. <laughs> Um, this picture here shows we have case one. It's a one by one by one cube. What would case two be? What would a two by two by two look like? What would case three be? What would a three by three by three? It would essentially look like a Rubik's cube that we know, right? And then this is case four that we're working with, which is a four by four by four cube. And the instructions are, imagine that we paint, and I'm gonna leave the picture up here so we can see it. Imagine that we paint a four by four by four cube blue on every side. How many of the small cubes have three blue faces? So if we were to pull that cube apart into the individual cubes, after we painted it while they were together, how many of those individual cubes would have three of their faces painted blue? How many would have two blue faces? How many would have one blue face? How many would not be painted at all? How many faces would be painted in a cube of any size? So that's kind of the extension as you go through it. Think visually. Now, you can do this without any materials. You can really kind of think through in your head. You can draw it, different things like that. But they give suggestions for materials if you want to try to build it and so that you can visually see it. So centimeter cubes are similar. So they said sugar cubes are great for this activity. Colored pens or markers, grid or isometric dot paper for coloring it in and drawing it out, all right? But remember, you don't necessarily have to have those things to think through this. So this is a low floor, high ceiling. It's easy to access. You can really kind of think through it. But as you'll see, as you start thinking through the numbers, it gets really, really deep. All right, well, that's all I'm going to give you for today because that's enough that you need to be able to solve it. That is your problem to work on, and we'll put up the solution for you tomorrow. All right, I hope you have a good time with this. I hope you make great connections. I hope you have fun. I hope that you have a beautiful day today. It's really nice out there. And happy mathing. <laughs>